Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 265. Congenital Heart Disease. Right to Left Shunt. What type of cyanosis is right to left shunt usually considered? Right to left shunt is considered early cyanosis, and that's why babies that are born with this condition are termed blue babies. Name the five right to left shunts. The five right to left shunts are tetralogy of fallow, transposition of great vessels, persistent truncus arteriosus, tricuspid atresia, total anomalous pulmonary venous return, TAPVR. What is the mnemonics to help you remember right to left shunt? The mnemonics is the five T's, which stands for tetralogy, transposition, truncus, tricuspid, and TAPVR. So these are the five right to left shunt that leads to early cyanosis. Of the five right to left shunts we've mentioned, which one is the most common cause of early cyanosis? The most common cause of early cyanosis is tetralogy of fallow. What is persistent truncus arteriosus? Persistent truncus arteriosus is a condition when there is a failure of truncus arteriosus to divide properly into pulmonary trunk and the aorta. What is another condition that commonly accompanies persistent truncus arteriosus? A condition that commonly accompanies persistent truncus arteriosus is VSD, which is ventricular septal defect. What is tricuspid atresia? Tricuspid atresia is a condition that's characterized by the absence of tricuspid valve and there is a hypoplastic right ventricle. Define the word hypoplastic. Hypoplastic means underdevelopment of an organ because of the decrease in the number of cells. What is required for viability in tricuspid atresia? For viability in tricuspid atresia, you are required to have a ASD, which is atrial septal defect, as well as a VSD, which is ventricular septal defect. Describe what happens in a total anomalous pulmonary venous return, also known as TAPVR. In a TAPVR, the pulmonary vein drains into the right heart circulation, such as at the level of superior vena cava or the coronary sinus associated with ASD or sometimes PDA to allow for right to left shunting to maintain cardiac output. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.